Hello, dear viewers. A few of you have asked me how I get custom names for hirelings, so I figure I'll show you. If we just head down into the lobby real quick... If we head down into the lobby and talk to Boss Man and check out the available hirelings, we'll see that they have actual standard names. Let's fix that! So the first step would be to download a program called DNSpy. You'll find a link to that in the description of this video. Once you've installed DNSpy, open it up and you will be greeted by this screen here. In the top left, you'll see a button that says File. You click on that, it will drop down a menu, and you click on Open. Navigate to your Steam folder, go into Steam Apps, Go into Common, go into Madness Project Nexus 2, go into Madness Project Nexus Data, go into Managed, and then finally you find the file you're looking for, assembly-csharp.dll. You'll want to open that one. Now that we've opened that up, over here on the Assembly Explorer, we find assembly-csharp, click the arrow next to it, and it will drop down assembly-csharp-dll, click on the arrow next to that, and it will bring down another list. You want to click on the arrow next to this dash thing. That will bring down a list of even more stuff. We want to scroll down until we find an entry called Squad Hireling and click on the arrow next to that. Surprise, even more things pop up. However, the name list that we're after is in here. So we click on that. And over on the right, where it shows the list of all the names, you right click, select edit method and it will bring up a new window. This pop-up lets you actually edit the available names for hirelings. So I'm going to real quickly delete a lot of the extra ones to condense this down. I recommend you do that too. There we go. With the list being a more manageable size, we can start messing with it. Do keep in mind each name needs to be within quotation marks and have a comma after it, outside of the quotation marks, unless it is the last name in the section, in which case it does not need the comma. As you can see here, I've replaced the names in the list with viewer submitted names and Joey. Once you're done changing the names to fit your fancy, you go down to the compile button and hit that and it will close the window. Next up, we need to disable name garbling. Name garbling is the game adding or removing random letters to each hireling's name. So we go up to garble name, click on it, go to the section on the right, right click that, select edit method again. Then we look at the line near the top right here, this one, while in garble greater than zero F and in name length greater than three. Now all you need to do is put a little 9 in front of that 3, or an 8, it doesn't actually matter. Just make sure you hit compile when you're done. And that will bring us to the final step, saving. Just go into the top left, choose file, save all. I have no idea what any of this means. And then just click OK. Now we just have to load up the game again and go talk to boss man. Summon some new recruits, and then look at that! Our custom names are in there! Side note, I have no idea how to edit an existing hireling's name. 